Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. This is going to be a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Cancer. I felt guided to do this reading for you. I just have a feeling it's going to be about Twin Flame. I just have a feel. I'm just channeling that energy for you. That is, um, that is something. I just finished saying this. I have a feeling this reading is going to be about Twin Flame energy. And here it is. Spiritual magnetic, divine connection, strong soulmate. We have somebody that could be healing inner child or um, some sort of learned behavior, self-discovery. We have healing and releasing. There's a twin flame here who is healing and releasing, or you might have healed and released a soulmate. Some of you are focusing on your structure, building, um, but then again, this, this, the other message I'm getting, this is somebody who is healing and purging, walking away. This is the Eight of Cups, walking away from something, releasing, which have been seeing that in the readings. This person here wants to build. Somebody here wants to build here slow and steady. I'm channeling Knight of Pentacles. This is the past twin flame energy. This person could be suffering in silence because I'm seeing the moon. This... Um, yeah, letting the past go, the moon, belief system, and the ace of wands, masculine energy who's taking off the mask. Somebody here is purging emotional. It is an emotional release, okay? It may have something to do with healing their inner child or something from their childhood, okay? Somebody here is healing. We have wish fulfillment. I just wanted to get an overall energy from this deck, and then we'll move on to the tarot. This is going to be about a, This is going to be about a connection. Okay, and we have communication here. You may be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo because this is Mercurian energy. It does talk about communication, travels, news, news, downloads. So news is on the way. You may be guarded here to this person. Look, we have karma here. We have justice, karma. Wanting to make things right, weighing things out. Okay, this is the Justice card, Cancer. So we have Libra, Gemini, Virgo. Manifestation, self-love. This is, and we have external party. We have external party, karmic partner, friends, family, other obligations, but there's karma here. Someone may want to make things right with you. It could be in regards to a third person. Um, I see three people in this card. Okay, there's there's three people here, external party. And we have desires of the hearts. So there's a manifestation here for expansion because a lot of you are in this uh, self-worth. Focus, focus on the desires, okay, what it is that you, you want at this time. Or a lot of you are focused on something that you want to manifest or create with a soulmate. This external party is showing four of pentacles. And there's a you're guarded to an offer or to new love. A lot of you are not open here to to love for, for some reason i see i see something unexpected coming in for you tower and the six of pentacles so i'm going to clarify this third party energy for you we have the sun leo energy something coming to the light and we have karma again okay there's depths here saturn so a learned lesson learning karmic lessons maturity okay it's something here to do with uh, a masculine who's trapped in their thoughts Thinking about a karmic lesson with an external party and there's karma. That is what this is. Don't tell me now we have the six of cups here as I part the deck. Someone is missing you, Cancer. Six of cups, past life soulmate watching you. This person could be watching your social media. I am going to, going to clarify the situation because I see something that you're bringing in for yourself. You're manifesting. Um, maybe you're manifesting communication. Someone here is reaping karma. I don't know how else to see this energy. Justice, balance, masculine energy and nostalgia, feeling some sort of way, thinking of the past, memories. It does say the past, assertive, protective, wounded. This could be a wounded masculine. Who could be healing and purging, releasing? There is karma. There is karma here. Um, this person might have been dealing with three different people in the past. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here, Destiny. I thought I was just going to get an overall energy for this reading, which we did. 
It is a twin flame soulmate energy. Uh, there's karma here involved for a third party. And this is the second time I'm seeing this card, the inner healing inner child, healing and illusion. Some uh, I, I saw, I just saw Pisces energy with Neptune. Neptune talks about things that are not exactly, it talks about illusions, daydreaming. So this is a very strong emphasis on healing, temptation, self-deception, making better choices. We have temperance, Sagittarius. We have two energies talking about healing and balance, moderation, transmutation, purging, letting go, releasing. This is a person here that could have been in denial here. The two of swords is a stalemate, an indecision to let something go. And there's the ace of cups. Here's a timing card. So a rebirth. This Ace of Cups says healing on, on this Ace of Cups. Typically, the Ace of Cups is um, its emotions, is water, energy. It does say renewal in love and a romantic offer, but a lot of you are guarded. This, this energy is seeing the truth, gaining new perspective, honest, honest, honest communication. We have this Mercurian energy here reflecting. So, Cancer, let's uh, move to the tarot because I feel like clarifying this uh, karma that is happening here for somebody. Ten of could be a masculine, could be for this masculine energy and the Ten of Pentacles. So, this person may be thinking about a long-term situation. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Karma, this could be legalities of some kind. It could have some, something to do with money. I'm seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this could, you know, karma talks about cause and effect. So this could be in the form of a reward coming in for you in the form of money because I'm seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And this could be you. And I'm seeing this communication, communication, Mercury energy, Ace of Swords is communication from a Gemini or, again, Twin Flame, Soulmate energy. There is communication here from a Soulmate Coming in, I feel like this person wants to hear build with you. I talked about someone thinking long term, this masculine. We have the three of pentacles here. Judgment. This is someone from your past. Look at the wheel of fortune here. Wheel of fortune, destiny, karmic cycles. This person has learned that has learned a life lesson. Someone has. Ten of pentacles feels like abundance here coming in for you for something you've done in the past. You know, it does say wanted weighing things out and wanting to make things right. You know, there is balance here. Something here is changing because the wheel of this, there's divine intervention. There's a detour here. Look, divine intervention, the world, which could symbolize victory, success, completions, a reward. You're receiving a reward. You could be receiving a reward here that is meant for you because this is the destiny. It does say fortune, this wheel of fortune, which is Jupiter energy. It's happening unexpectedly. It, it, it may, may happen out of the blue, something you may not be expecting. Didn't I channel that previously with the tower? I said there's something here coming in for you that you don't exist. I see communication. I see something about a decision being made. The truth being spoken also with this justice energy. Ten of Pentacles feels that, I mean, it's, the way that I'm seeing this looks to me like there's something that may be coming in for you with love. That it, that is coming in for you in love with a soulmate, a strong soulmate, and also with your finances, meaning your long term stability. That is this justice energy. Who is this communication coming in from? Who is this communication coming in from for Cancer? Phone call, downloads, news is on the way. The cards want to speak. I can tell. Somebody that's holding on to you or doesn't let go of this connection with you. Yeah, they want to build here with you. Could be a Sagittarius. We have a Temperance. This communication is going to be about how to heal, mend a connection. This is this could be in some form reconciliation with this person. Three of Pentacles. I want to build with you. High Priestess. Pisces. Cancerian energy. This person wants to build with you. You're calling this in. I think I channeled that energy, focusing on something that you're manifesting. By you giving yourself your self-worth, you are you are attracting in this person. You are attracting this soulmate. Look at this. You are attracting in this energy. Gemini, I see two dolphins here. This is soulmate energy in the high priestess. There's like there's some telepathy here going on between you and this energy. Eight of Pentacles. So the communication is this person wanting to heal the situation or find come into balance. 
come into balance with this temperance moderation you know divine is bringing to the temperance is the, the divine bringing two two energies together two people together and look at the queen of cups here you are at the bottom of the deck with this emperor this masculine energy oh my god eight of cups we so i i said it this person is purging eight of cups and the death energy could be a Scorpio. This energy here is walking away. They're, but the two of you are facing each other. Okay. They've walked away from something. Something here has transformed, has ended. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at this Ten of Swords. The worst is over. The end of a cycle here is over because somebody here has decided to part ways. Six of Wands is victory, recognition, some sort of reward. I continue to hear that for you with this Ten of Pentacles. And the justice. So something that's rightfully yours, a reward here. Six of Wands, victory, recognition, something you've waited for. Seven of Pentacles, the seeds you've planted. Seven of Wands, seven, seven. With the Page of Cups. Standing your ground. The Page of Cups, it's a message here that could be arriving from at a distance or something you've been waiting for. You've been expecting this. Three of Wands, it's you in expectation of this. You, you might have been daydreaming of this. New beginning, Ace of Cups. You are someone at a distance thinking about taking a new leap, a risk, or have a new beginning. This is a twin flame. This is a soulmate. Four of Wands with the Queen of Cups as I part the deck. Why is this ex external party here? Why is this external party? Karmic partner, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, obligations, other people. Why is this? This is somebody here watching. Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. We have the Four of Wands. Seven of Swords. Deception. Someone tried to get away with something. Three of Cups, third party. We have external third party. And the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there could, yeah, this ex there could have been an external party here that did something uh, shady. Sneaky, seven of swords, four of wands is this this connection you have with this person. But see how, how I said there's three women in both of these both of these cards. Somebody here tried to get in between this new beginning or try to this is being sneaky, doing something in secret, I should say, or behind behind door, closed doors or yeah, three, I'm seeing three women, Cancer. So I don't know if this was family members, an external, another person. We have a new beginning here regardless with this Ace of Cups. I feel like there's a person here who's transitioning, okay? And divine intervention is at play. Give me one more energy. I'm going to change decks um, for you guys. Give me one second, Cancer. Perfect. This is perfect. Okay. High Priestess, something here, something that you know, something that you know, you know, you know something or... Your intuition is telling you something. You might have known about this. That's what I'm trying to say. Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords. I'm seeing the Queen of Swords. So this is an X. Why is this external party here? Three of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Why is this external party here? And we have the Judgment. Somebody could have been judged by because of something they did. I feel like it may be your person here trying... Um, try to seek some sort of redemption this is a new beginning with the ace of pentacles and the judgment is something here from your past seven of swords this person this third party might have created a delayed for this new beginning because every time i clarify this third party i, I get these this, these two aces this ace of pentacles ace ace of cups with the judgment so this person here could be struggling at this time okay it does say reckoning redemption it could be an awakening about this deception that took place with these other people that created a delay for a, be a new beginning with you between you and this in this person. Give me one more energy. See that I see this energy here apologizing to you or extending extending some sort of apology. I want to clarify the wheel of fortune. I don't know if I did already. Three of Cups is this third party and the Seven of Swords. It's deception, deception that happened with between. Between this this connection between you and this in your person, see this makes sense why we have justice, why karma is here. There is no coincidence. I am clarifying this third party situation, and, and we get the three of cups with the seven of swords. We have you and this person here, and the four of wands. Um, there there was something here destined between you and this energy, and and somebody here tried to do something in secret, in secret to delay. See, we have five of swords, competition, competition. I'm seeing Virgo as well. 
Apology here for this upheaval, this loss. Someone could feel defeated at this time. So clarify this wheel of fortune. Again, a new beginning that was meant to meant to happen between you and your person that somebody here tried to get away with. That's what I kept hearing. See, to delay this, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like your person wanted to make an investment here with you. Somebody here wanted this, this, this is situation. This situation, this is why this, there's cause and effect here for someone. And I feel like there's a person being judged. I feel this third party is being judged. There's a third party that could be, I, I just, I've read the first thing that I read was reckoning, you know, something, something that this energy tried to get away with. I don't really need to go around that message, but that is what I'm channeling. There is divine. That's why we have divine intervention. There is fortune. A new beginning here starting out for you. What is rightfully yours. I think I channel that energy. Okay. I had to decline a phone call um, that was coming in as I'm channeling this message. So you may decline someone's call. This could come in from a Gemini or a soulmate. I see a soulmate here. Love, harmony. Okay, strength of two together. There's deep love between you and this person. Look at the Ace of Swords and the Star card, Aquarius energy. I have to decline this call again. How rude. So healing, faith, purpose, renewal. There's a renewal and a good omen here with this communication. Mercur Mercurian energy, the Ace of Swords. I apologize for that, Cancer. How? Why would someone call twice? Let's clarify this uh, Wheel of Fortune. I was going to say, let's clarify this Fortune that's coming in for you and it's a fortune because we have the the star star energy aquarius energy this is a wish come true for you it is a wish come true for you this is healing you know we're talking about this um this energy we have this self-love here manifestation we have this manifestation focused on the desires of the heart expansion manifest that that is what the star card is in this reading you are calling something in there's a there's somebody here reaping karma Okay, can we say that? There's somebody here reaping karma. Clarified this ace. This wheel of fortune has something to do with this uh, these two aces, this this new beginning. I'm still going to clarify. I mean, I'm clarifying the wheel of fortune. I'm seeing this star energy with the ace of swords, which is a breakthrough, success. This person here is going to see you here venture towards a new beginning you or your person the two of you together because the four of wands is it could be a union here two people celebration coming together okay this is someone here that you have a deep soul bond divine connection with and there's justice here there's justice i don't know how else to see this let's clarify this wheel of fortune your person may be declining phone calls from this person i just i just see messages knight of cups someone here may be in the and the justice card someone may be declining someone's calls i just wanted to say that we have justice fairness fairness truth they feel like it is the right thing to do somebody feels like it's the right thing to do here to come forward um following their heart um trusting in their god intuition what their heart is telling them there's emotions here there's love with this ace of cups libra energy we have gemini virgo those are the signs i've seen for aquarius aquarius very strong look at the star <laughs> The star showing with is justice. A renewal for you, good omen, rejuvenation, fortune. That is what we're clarifying with this wheel of fortune. Give me one more energy for this wheel of fortune. They're telling me to take from the top. The star energy. That is what that is what it is. Okay. This is a celebration. There's something here over. See, I'm seeing the death energy. Um, if, if your person was expressing or offering or somebody here offering love to other people, external parties, that is changing. We have the death energy. Somebody could be overcoming overcoming something and, and perhaps feel I feel like it's the end of a cycle um, because somebody here could be transitioning towards a change or metamorphosis. Either way, we have Leo energy, gaining the courage and the strength to do so. The two of swords and the two of cups, 22 may resonate for you. Is this connection on this person's mind? You know, this says here weighing options. The two of swords has to do with decisions. We have justice in the reading very strongly. This person could be thinking. It's also stalemate. Stalemate. Difficult, you know, weighing their options. Difficult decisions about this connection. Six of wands, it's recognition. So there's a masculine that could be recognizing that there's, there's emotional fulfillment here with you. The two of you may share emotional and emotional connection. 
that they don't share with other people. I mean, you can share um, be intimacy with other people, but not not on an emotional level, if you know what I mean. We have the nine of cups and this is um, emotional stability says here. You offer this person emotional stability. It does say satisfaction. Wish come true here. I don't want to give up on this connection. I regret the past. This is um, Queen of Wands, the Magician, Six of Cups, and that's Seven of Swords. I do see somebody here, Three of Swords, that could have been giving to another person. And this, this was deceptive. And th that is why we have very strongly the Justice Energy. In this reading, I do see this energy healing inner wounds, and that could be very much so the star energy. Somebody here is healing old patterns, meaning learned behaviors um, and self-discovery, learning something, coping mechanisms. OK, very poor poke poking, coping mechanisms. So um, let's move on, Cancer. I just, um, that's a message for you today. Was there anything here? Nine of Pentacles. Seeing Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius. That is a, that is amazing. A wish fulfillment. What is this? Someone looking back. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Give me one more energy for this reading. What is this twin flame energy? Clarify this twin flames divine connection. Eight of Wands, communication. This is Mercurian energy. Why do I feel like there's communication that's blocked? Okay, there's there's a person here transitioning away towards a wish fulfillment. Look at the look at the Wheel of Fortune and the Star energy. The Star is clarifying this Wheel of Fortune, and here it is. Some of you are transitioning. There's other people here gossiping. That is how I interpret this page of source and three of cups. And this is what somebody here could be transitioning from. This seven of wands could, for all I know, could be your person. Because I see a masculine energy here very close off, guarded here to other people. Their friends, their families. And this is what their self-discovery that they're in. Transitioning, six of swords, three of cups, two of wands. I'm making a decision to take action towards a wish fulfillment for me. Wheel of fortune, the moon, cancer, Pisces energy. Devil, Two of Pentacles. Someone might have gone back and forth. There it is, Seven of Swords. This is something that they regret. Uh, the Sun and the Nine of Cups is something finally finally coming to the light for this energy. There's a light that is shining on, on a truth, perhaps. The card, the justice is truth. Something that, that they're in realization about. This Eight of Wands is communication that you have coming in from this energy, from this person, okay? That is what I see here, Cancer. I don't know what else to... Let's, let's, let's get some of these to end the reading. That is what I see. Very strong communication energy. Lessons of Saturns. This person here is learning a lesson. A soul's desire to resolve limiting patterns of control and dependency. What in the world? That is that is this. Um, I just I don't know if I channel this message, but this is your person. Saturn rules Capricorn, which is the devil energy. So I'm going to read this again or finish reading this. Many challenges, but can bring benevolent long term rewards. A soul's desire to resolve limiting pattern, patterns of control. That is that is your person. Look, twin flame. That is your person. Look, gaining balance. They may be seeking or receiving help or support from their friends. I'm seeing a lot of people with this three of cups, external parties. But um, something here is coming into balance with this person. Twin flame, friendship, and balance. Give me one more energy for this reading. Expect communication. Look at this. That is that is amazing. Look, I just said this person's receiving support from their friend, like friends, family, a therapist, okay, which can be very beneficial. And we have here. This is I interpret this as as the wheel of fortune, something that is predetermined. This is a destined partnership, and that is that's faded. I love you guys. Sending you all so much love and light, Cancer. Let me know if this reading resonated with you. I will be announcing the winners for the free deck giveaway um this week very soon i know i've taken a long time doing so but stay tuned if you are interested in winning a free deck please be sure to leave an emoji or um, anything that you feel guided to say in the comment section um, i love you guys i'll be back soon with another reading uh, sending you so much love and light until then cancer namaste